Hello all. Today's topic is Artificial Intelligence and Regulations. If there is an industrial revolution, that will be definitely fueled by artificial intelligence. At the same time, revolutionary innovations are born into a vacuum of regulations. The recent debate and corporate actions pertaining to certain artificial intelligence related product categories are given birth to a new set of debates on artificial intelligence and regulations. The question is what needs to be regulated? Whether we need to regulate AI or we need to regulate artificial intelligence based technology products. If we are going to regulate artificial intelligence that is equal to creating another hundreds of Galileo Galileos in modern world. Because the latter, the artificial intelligence based technologies can be regulated based on certain parameters and the need of the society. So while we think about regulating a technological area, specifically a highly innovative technological area like artificial intelligence, there are certain things which we need to know. Law and regulation is always a blend and a slow process. At the same time, technological revolution is happening in a more organic way. There are more things coming up in every day. So while a slow moving regulation is coming up, there are many waters might have been moved across. But there are more other concrete problems are there when it comes to regulation. We need to codify the terminology artificial intelligence. What is artificial intelligence need to be codified before we think about regulating it. The call for regulation and codification is right now there in the industry. The momentum created by leading artificial industry giants, uh, artificial uh, intelligence giants and industry giants such as IBM, Microsoft and Google uh, give birth to that particular momentum. Since every author, every researcher may be having a slightly varied definition of artificial intelligence and there is also thought for bringing regulation in the field of artificial intelligence, there are efforts underway from different government agencies across the globe to define artificial intelligence in the purview of a regulation or a law. One of the key definitions which I came across uh, uh, is a codification at attempt from United, the United States. And this codification attempt in the purview of artificial intelligence was coming from an executive order numbered as 13859 from the President of the United States. Uh, the objective of this executive order is to bring a competitive um, leadership in artificial intelligence by the state and at the same time maintaining the interest of citizens, interest of corporate, interest of, uh, uh, interest of security, everything is being included in this executive order. The subsequent actions came from this executive order um, was quite phenomenal. There is an effort to um, effort to codify what is artificial intelligence. How there is an effort already went on um, for a call for non-governmental regulation in non-government or civilian use of artificial intelligence and what needs to be regulated. And there are many thought and elements are already went. 
the key guidelines in such a as per in such the guidance provided for the guidance provided subsequent to the executive order was while it may be very difficult to bring regulation um, in the ai as a general field or a based application in a general field there may be need uh, for bringing regulations uh, in domain specific area and we could see that fda the federal drug administration authority of the united states they are a leading um, light in this particular uh, scenario they uh, stand forward and, and they they published a working paper uh, to create a solution or create a create a regulation around the software and systems which leverages machine learning for uh, medicine or life sciences purpose so this is going to be uh, a revolutionary step taken by fda when a new medical device appears the device will be certified against certain parameters uh, and then the device will be made available um, for a wider use and the artificial intelligence will be tested and certified as like the current drug testing and certification happens uh, under the purview of federal drug administration there is not the end of the story there is a there's a lot of techno skepticism is revolving around artificial intelligence one of my friend uh, dr biju p r wrote a book and he wrote a wonderful line in that the techno skepticism was born from the time of socrates because he was saying that the library was ruining the mind and books are ruining memories so that is a kind of a techno skepticism that's what dr biju said the techno skepticism flows into the human society in many way like uh, artificial intelligence will replace the jobs it was same in the case of when computer came and every technological innovation every uh, every industrial if you look at the history of every industrial revolution the same technological skepticism uh, or the technical skepticism was born and there are civil movements and civil unrest were there it is same we could see like there are a lot of civil movements are giving um, uh, are rising and they are demanding for regulation they are demanding for public access and many things are now uh, becoming more and more evident in the surface level um, there are there are many attempts happening from different parts of the globe to protest or protect the interest of the citizen with respect to the data what the citizen generate and how the data is being used um, so those momentums those those initiatives such as gdpr from the european union and the california data protection rule from california is going to help um, um, help in in the artificial intelligence and regulation area in a greater extent and that will eventually uh, wipe out some of this uh, techno skepticism eventually but where all these regulations if even if there is a better regulation comes that is going to be um, beneficial for a better ai development culture in 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 corporate when i say it's a better ai development culture is that today's world when a data scientist makes a jupyter notebook as its working environment and to publish a model in production there may be certain missing pieces which right now preventing somebody to enable auditing accounting and understanding why certain decisions are being taken by artificial intelligence those elements will be basically taken into account and new ai system will be developed when it comes to litigation and a matter of accountability this new development culture new way of architecting ai platforms ai product ai systems and ai services will will be very phenomenal and all these regulations will be eventually uh, supporting a better ai development culture
every organization who is maturing in the path of artificial intelligence development and if your your artificial intelligence service product is touching an end user to whom you are providing a solution and he offs if he offs an answer an explanation you should prepare for architecting and developing the solution with um uh, an explainability in mind if you are not able to explain why the decision was taken by your artificial intelligence system you lose accountability while you lose accountability you lose a credibility hence the entire application is going to be questioned and once it comes to regulation these questions are going to cost more into an enterprise perspective to we need to make enter into such kind of activities never as an enterprise we never uh, would like to enter in such kind of a chaotic situation so all the regulations are going to be um, focusing on giving you guidance on refining how you are going to think about artificial intelligence based solution which will give fairness accountability auditability and access to fair ai systems that is where we should start thinking about re-architecturing our ai system rethinking how the ai development is happening reshaping the culture of data scientists and ai engineers within our organization and we need to push and move forward in in bringing the artificial intelligence regulation and these regulations are not going to be something which is going to be written in stone right it needs to evolve the regulation needs to evolve even though as i mentioned the law is going to be a blunt process there should be a way we could bring this regulatory process into uh the speed of revolution happening in the technological age in that way we could help the entire world to enjoy the benefit of ai enjoy uh the success of ai in their life and which is we already started enjoying it there are many questions which it is going to pose uh, who wants the data who wants the liability um of the uh, the system uh, uh, systems decision systems action systems mistakes such as an artificial uh, intelligence based car or self driving car takes an action and that action resulted in an unfortunate situation so who is responsible for that unfortunate situation if the same is caused by a human operating in the same environment the human who operated is going to be liable but can i say that i am uh, can we say or can law find a software as accountable is software is accountable then who is going to pay or who is going to pay for the fault caused by the software is that the end user is that the corporate or how we can mitigate this problem these are going to be the challenging uh, challenging part uh, in the ai regulation journey every challenge for every challenge pose in the technology arena there is another technical solution to it and for those technical solutions to live better with uh, the increasing need of regulation and the better life expectation from the human being there there will be a harmony of law versus technology is going to happen to all these scenarios and we can hope that that leads to be a better tomorrow um tomorrow for us where artificial intelligence helps us with as a law abiding uh, law abiding software and artificially intelligent component that is where um, the ai regulation discussion will be heading towards so in case if you have questions or comments please comment in uh, in the youtube or you could connect with me in linkedin or twitter and you can send your comments and so thank you very much for watching Thank you have a great day